what a small chicken farmer has to do when it's cold outside to put away their chickens. Hey Siri, what's it feel like temperature outside? Jeez. You have to wash off the entire sidewalk so that by the time that morning comes, there's no poop on it from the chickens since they pasture raise and feel that they own the entire property. And then you check to see if your bird is in the tree, which she is. And you try to avoid any tree limbs that might be falling. And you look for other animals. They got one in the tree right there. Those are my two on the back side. Everybody in bed? Yeah? All right. 19 degrees, guys and girls. And may I suggest the absolute best flashlight in the whole wide world because you can recharge it at any time with everything you already got. All right. Who's in here? Who has decided to come sleep in this one? Oh, you got a friend. There's a bunch of them up here now. Cool. All right. Poop number two. And we must lock with an extra latch because apparently we have highly educated raccoon <laughs> around here that like to get inside thinking that there might be some chicken feed there. All right, this is my big coop. My nesting boxes that have all become individual apartments. <gasps> I see you looking at me. I do, just my girls. Yeah, these guys are way up here. They like it in here. This is the egg flock production coop. All right, lock that, latch that, we're good. <sighs> Turn around. I already know he's up in the tree, he's already pooping. Make sure that there's power so that they can have water in the morning. And they come down here. This doghouse has a kennel attached to it. So if by chance I have to have chickens that have chicks, I have a warm place for them to be. But this has been converted to an egg area. We've got another one up here. Nobody's in that. Swedish flower hens are sleeping up there. Uh, wrap their coop with calm back feed bags. So those guys are good. They're locked in. And then my own little creation of a gate. I actually zip tied chicken wire fencing underneath on both sides and then chicken wired it open. So this is the only way I have to shut it. Because that's what you do when you have surgery and you can't move. And who do we have in here, guys? Focus, please. There we go. We got Wheat Wheat in the middle. And a couple more Samanis and her boyfriend. And then we come over here. Don't mess with the coat rack. That's my coat rack. And I make sure that the donkey water's good. Make sure that there's nobody in the nesting boxes. I have to check to make sure that the rooster is up in the pole barn. And then follow the bent tree. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four. 
And then one, two, oh, five. There's five. I see five butts. There's four in one line and one in the other. So that gives me my seven. Leia, black, Han, white. All right, time for some feed. I have to feed them after everybody goes to sleep because the chickens will take their food. I don't have a barn, but I do have a trailer. It's tiny, but it's mighty. And I have a rechargeable light in here, which makes life so much easier. And I pre-scoop out measured food on cold days or rainy days to cheat in the morning. All right, we're locked up. So I got their food for them. And I already mucked their stall and checked for eggs earlier. So now I will politely, I'm gonna politely move this over. Yeah. I don't need you to lick my ear. Leia, move your foot. Thank you. And then we'll go through the big hole. I'm trying. Your big fat nose is in the way. I see it. All right, ready? One, two. <gasps> Move your head. Oh, you guys did good. Thank you, guys. You guys know the routine. So, now they'll eat. And I can go in and cuddle with a dog. Please, when you're thinking about the food that you eat, there are cattle farmers that have to do this in worse weather with snow and rain and sleet. And I am not gonna complain for Georgia weather being this temperature for such a small farm that I am. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.